And also on today's Country File, our video diary gives an insight into this winter's wetland birds. It's great just being surrounded by the sounds of the ducks. It's a very magical place this time in the morning with the mist over the water. As you've just been hearing, it's an important place for wintering birds. And let's continue that theme now with this week's video diary. It's from amateur wildlife watcher Rob Weaver. And here's Rob's guide to how to spot some winter birds. Well, at this time of year, rivers burst their banks and rain saturates the land to the extent that lots of fields, like this one at Ashworth Ham, become temporary wetlands. And as a result of that, lots of wildfowl like widgeon and pintail love to take the opportunity of a summer holiday by overwintering in the UK. Well, it's just before dawn, and although it's freezing cold, the advantage of getting here at this time of day is that a lot of ducks and geese feed predominantly during the night, so they're still very active at dawn, which makes for some fantastic watching and some fantastic sunrises. Well, the male widgeons that you can hear now is a very, very distinctive looking duck. It's got a lovely orange chestnut head, a, a yellow forehead stripe, and a lovely pink chest. Now, the widgeon's a dabbling duck, which means it upends in the shallows to feed on aquatic vegetation. You can hear them all around. But like most duck species, the females are dull brown. And uh, a good way of identifying the female widgeon is by a small, stubby grey bill. Duck are quite wary, so it's lovely to be able to get this close. Now there's a pintail. That's a lovely duck. Very, very elegant looking bird. And it gets its name from that characteristic long spiky tail. It's got a lovely chocolate brown head and white chest. And a much longer neck than other species of duck. And that allows it to reach deeper down as it feeds on aquatic invertebrates. Now there's a shoveler. Now in contrast to an elegant duck like the pintail, the shoveler holds itself very, very low in the water as it literally shovels planktonic invertebrates out of the shallows and the mud and it filters those in a special bill which have got filter grooves on in each side of the inside of its bill and as it shovels the water in, filters the invertebrates out. The beak, or the bill as it's called on a duck, is absolutely huge in comparison with the bird's head. Oh, something's put them up. A huge number of widgeon have just lifted off the water. You can hear that whistling as they're circling around. Now, the ducks look quite cumbersome when they're swimming around on the water. In the air, they're fantastic flyers. And birds like the widgeon and teal are some of the fastest flying species of, uh, of bird in the UK, certainly in terms of wildfowl. It's great just being surrounded by the sounds of the ducks. It's a very magical place this time in the morning with the mist over the water. Rob Weaver there with his guide to some of this winter's wetland birds. 